mentoring ensures that you get to know your follower to the depth. You've got to know how he or she lives, where he or she lives, what their educational background is. You've got to also make an effort to improve um, their lives and ensure that they get what you are teaching them to understand. Now for you to be able to do that, you first of all must be very open. So open to your follower that he or she knows, even while just waking up from sleep, what next step you are likely to take in every situation. Now, one of the things that this does is that you expose your life to the follower, your weaknesses, your strength, your failings, and your winnings. Everything about you has to be very open to such a follower. Now, the danger with this is that you become very vulnerable. As leaders, people quickly forget that you are merely human, making an effort to constantly grow. Now, for a weak follower, when he sees that vulnerability, one thing is he or she may either run away from you because before they thought you were superhuman and now they've realized you are ordinarily human, or they take your weaknesses and broadcast all around to people, and that exposes your weaknesses to all men and women around. That makes you very, very vulnerable. So vulnerability is one of the burdens that a leader carries, that a leader bears, that a leader suffers. Regardless of that, you must still grow in your leadership skills and abilities. One of the ways to overcome this is to so train the follower that he no longer sees your vulnerability or your weakness as weaknesses but areas that you require to grow. But again, like we always say, leadership comes with its body and vulnerability is one of such bodies.